This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all kinds of Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hello everyone, Mike Hoffman here, and today we're going to be working in Photoshop CS6, and we're going to be developing a dramatic contrast technique using some approaches that you may not have seen before. If you've watched my tutorials, you know that I'm a fan of non-destructive editing and being able to change and tweak the adjustments after we make them. And that's exactly the kind of tip that we're going to see today. So let's get started. What we've got is a contrast technique that's going to be adjustable and it's going to work equally well whether we're using it on a still life such as this or on a landscape or even on an architectural type of image. So let's start with this one. And what we're going to want to do is to begin very simply, we're just going to duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. And we're going to change the blend mode of this layer to soft light. And that's immediately going to create some contrast and some drama. And we may want to back the opacity down a little bit. So we've got some control there. We can dial the opacity around and we'll leave that one set about 70%. But now, in order to really adjust the contrast, and, and in order to adjust the colors within this image, and have individual color control in the different parts of the image, we're going to resort to an adjustment layer. And what kind of an adjustment layer are we going to use? A black and white adjustment layer. That's right, black and white, so that we can adjust the color. And here's why. We'll go ahead and click here to create a new black and white adjustment layer and the image is immediately transformed into a monochrome but look at the sliders here in the black and white panel we have sliders for each and every color and in fact we can use the on image adjustment tool by clicking here and then we have the ability to drag within the image and lighten or darken different colors independently of the rest and this is a key part of this tip because what we're going to do is we're going to take this black and white adjustment layer and we're going to change the blend mode of this adjustment layer to luminosity. Now that we've changed it to luminosity, it's no longer driving our image to black and white, but the lights and darks that are being generated by this adjustment layer are affecting the image. So with this adjustment tool still selected, we can click and drag and as you can see, we have control. Here are the blues, here on the reds, here in the yellows. So we can click and drag, and if we want a little more granular adjustment, perhaps we can do it here with the sliders, adjusting just the cyan colors to brighten up the background here in this wooden paneled wall behind this fishing float. So very easy and very adjustable and again we have the before and the after so a nice dramatic contrast technique let's go ahead and move on to a landscape picture and here we're going to follow the same process we're simply going to duplicate the background layer and change the blend mode to soft light and immediately we've got some contrast buildup going on there but now let's go ahead and add that black and white adjustment layer, change the blend mode to luminosity, and now we can click on this tool and drag in the image and look at the control that we have over the different colors within the image. We can brighten and darken different parts of the image independently of each other. And this is fantastic and we can use the sliders equally well as dragging in the image whichever you prefer here's another example we'll jump over to this image and this is a sunrise image we'll follow the same process duplicate set to soft light and we have some great contrast going on now we add the black and white adjustment layer set to luminosity and we can click and drag in the image to change the different parts of the image as we see fit. Maybe we want to brighten this area up a little bit more. We have great control over the color. 
And this works very well on architectural images too. So if you're an urban photographer, this could work well for you. Let's go ahead and step through it again. Duplicate the background layer. Set it to soft light. Add our black and white adjustment layer. Set that to luminosity. And now we can click and drag and we can create all kinds of neat contrasty effects here in this image simply by clicking and dragging. And if you find that you've got an area, perhaps this white door is just a little bit too blown out from this contrast effect, we can simply come in here, make sure that the layer mask is selected, and make sure that we've got a black color selected as the foreground color. Switch to the brush tool and just paint over this door to hide the effect on the door. We could also select the soft light layer and add a layer mask there and do the same thing. Again, taking some of the pop out of that door so that we can see more of the detail, but leaving that contrast in the rest of the image. So there you have it. Very quick and very easy, but infinitely adjustable dramatic contrast within Photoshop CS6 using soft light blending on a duplicate layer and luminosity blending on a black and white adjustment layer. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom tutorials and related information there. Or you can follow me at mhoffman2001 on Twitter. And you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial.